नमस्कार वेलकम टू राज्यसभा टेलीविजन आई एम स्मृति रस्तोगी टुडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट पीपीई और पर्सनल प्रोटेक्टिव इक्विपमेंट इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ कोविड 19 आउटब्रेक वी आर ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट दिस इक्विपमेंट इज एंड इट्स नीड पर्सनल प्रोटेक्टिव इक्विपमेंट और पीपीई इज क्रूशियल टू कीप हेल्थ केयर वर्कर्स ऑन द कोविड नाइन्टीन पेंडेमिक्स फ्रंट लाइन सेफ PPE works as a barrier between an individual's skin, mouth, nose or eyes and viral and bacterial infections. They also reduce the risk of passing on the virus to another by covering the mouth, nose and hands. PPE consists of garments placed to protect healthcare workers or any other persons from getting infected. these usually consist of standard precautions gloves masks and gowns for airborne infections ppe will include face protection goggles and mask or face shields gloves gown or coverall head cover rubber boots in the context of covid-19 ppe includes gloves medical masks respirators eye protection gowns aprons boots or close to work shoes the ministry of health and family welfare has stated the need for each and every component of the ppe face shield and goggles for the contamination of mucous membranes of the eyes nose and mouth is likely in a scenario of the droplets generated by cough sneeze of the infected person or during aerosol generating procedures carried out in a clinical setting in advertently touching the eyes nose mouth with a contaminated hand is another key scenario hence protection of the mucous membranes of the eyes nose mouth by using face shields or goggles is an integral part of standard and contact precautions The flexible frame of goggles should provide good seal with the skin of the face covering the eyes and the surrounding areas and even accommodating for prescription glasses. Then masks. Respiratory viruses that includes coronaviruses target mainly the upper and lower respiratory tracts. Hence, protecting the airway from the particulate matter generated by droplets or aerosols prevents human infection. Contamination of mucous membranes of the mouth and nose by infective droplets or through a contaminated hand also allows the virus to enter the host. Hence, the droplet precautions or airborne precautions using masks are crucial while dealing with a suspect or confirmed case of COVID-19 or performing aerosol generating procedures. Masks are of different types. The type of mask to be used is related to the particular risk profile of the category of personal and his or her work. There are two types of masks which are recommended for various categories of personnel working in hospital or community settings depending upon the work environment. First is triple layer medical mask and second is N95 respiratory mask. Triple layer medical mask a triple layer medical mask is a disposable mask fluid resistant provides protection to the wearer from droplets of infectious material emitted during coughing sneezing or talking now an n95 respirator mask is a respiratory protective device with high filtration efficiency to airborne particles to provide requisite air seal to the wearer such masks are designed to achieve a very close facial fit such masks should have high fluid resistance good breathability clearly identifiable internal and external faces duckbill or cup shaped structure design that does not collapse against the mouth if correctly worn the filtration capacity of these masks exceed those of triple layer medical masks since these provide a much tighter air seal than triple layer medical masks they are designed to protect the wearer from inhaling airborne particles then comes the gloves 
When a person touches an object or surface contaminated by COVID-19 infected person and then touches his own eyes, nose or mouth, he may get exposed to the virus. Although coveralls typically provide 360 degree protection because they are designed to cover the whole body including back and lower legs and sometimes the head and feet as well. The design of medical or isolation gowns do not provide continuous whole body protection. By using appropriate protective clothing, it is possible to create a barrier to eliminate or reduce contact and droplet exposure, both known to transmit COVID-19, thus protecting healthcare workers working in close proximity of suspect or confirmed COVID-19 cases or their secretions. Coveralls and gowns are deemed equally acceptable as there is a lack of comparative evidence to show whether one is more effective than the other in reducing transmission to the health workers. Gowns are considered easier to put on and for removal. An apron is also worn over the gown to the entire time the health worker is in the treatment area. Coveralls or gowns have stringent standards that extend from preventing exposure to biologically contaminated solid particles to protecting from chemical hazards. Shoe covers should be made up of impermeable fabric to be used over shoes to facilitate personal protection and decontamination. Head covers. Coveralls usually cover the head. Those using gowns should use a head cover that covers the head and neck while providing clinical care for patients. Hair and hair extensions should fit inside the head cover. Well, that's all we have for you. We will be back with more such informative videos. Till then, take very good care of your health. Thank you for watching. Namaskar.